Marjorie Taylor Greene tweeted, um, yes, they can control the weather. It's ridiculous for anyone to lie and say it can be done. Uh, so with the hurricane going through um, uh, Georgia and uh, North Carolina and, and now hitting Florida, conspiracy theories are through the roof. MAGA excels at this. The wacky, crazy, nutty people out in droves. Unfortunately, these are also people that are very active in Republican politics, starting with Congresswoman, can you believe it? Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. Yes, they can control the weather. I mean, there's a question about who she means by they. Does she mean the government? Does she mean Democrats? Does she mean the Jews with the space lasers? It's not clear who she means exactly. But they, you know that they are scary people, or not people, as the case may be, um, they can control the weather. And uh, you should, you, all of you out there, including me, we should stop lying. We should stop lying about it. So cloud seeding and controlling the weather, same thing. Um, but this is broader than Marjorie Taylor Greene. Again, this is, this is just entered into the m mill of crazy conspiracy theories um, adopted by MAGA. I mean, you've got crazy left and, and the alternative, many of us, many people tell me uh, is the only alternative, is uh, uh, MAGA. Um, this is from somebody else in MAGA, right? The weather cannon is being manipulated. Wake up. Stop being ignorant or plain stupid. There's no such thing as coincidences. <laughs> the most important election in history of America is 30 days away. Pray. Yeah, pray. Uh, Georgia voting has been compromised. And don't know if we will be able to get all our early voting days in. Now, a hurricane is coming straight for Florida. These two states are necessary for a Trump victory. It's no coincidence. God hides lions inside of sheep. I know you're in there somewhere. Make the terrified to, make the terrified to cheat. This is our nation to lose or ours to keep. And, of course, she links to the real Donald Trump. Um, you got to save the country, and the weather is is. I, I one other thing I've noticed that maybe supports the conspiracy theories is the weather seems to be these hurricanes seem to be knocking out only the homes of Republicans. It like is only on counties that are dominantly Republicans, like the Democratic strongholds. It's skipping over them somehow. You, you notice that. <laughs> Um, God doesn't control the weather anymore. No, it's, it's Democrats. It's Jews, Jewish Democrats, Jewish Democrats. Um, Grant, this is Grant, another tweet. I grew, and he's a, he's like a, a he's got like a gold check mark on, on Twitter. I grew up on the Gulf of Mexico, been watching storms since I was a young boy. I have never all capitalized seen a storm start here and go east. Do you think government is using technology to manipulate weather patterns and storms? Hmm. They're moving it away from Texas because, like, Texas is already Republican, and, and they're moving it towards the counties in Florida, Georgia, and North Carolina that are Republican. And then my favorite is, uh, is this one. Sorry to burden you with all this, but I figured we'd start off with some humor because, uh, God. Uh, anyway, Brian says, Coffee Talk 101. Hurricanes are part of nature. Surface water temperatures, sheer wind, and barometric pressure play a huge factor in their development. A huge factor in their development. <laughs> but it's factually true that our government has the ability to enhance weather patterns systems by cloud seeding or otherwise known as weather modification. Look it up. This method is deployed around the world to help in drought-stricken areas. Here's to all my meteorological friends 
that are on Facebook. How many, how many meteorologists does he know? <laughs> Do you think our government is enhancing the intensity of these storms? Just asking a question. What exactly do these hurricane hunters do? They would be the only ones that are logistically close to the storms. Once again, just asking questions. And yes, I've added raw milk to my coffee. <laughs> oh, my God. Just asking questions. Just asking. I mean, could it be Jewish uh, uh, cedars of storms, storm hunters, the guys who drive under planes, they, they, all, they all have Jewish names for some reason. I'm just asking questions. I don't know. You know, could, could, could Hitler be a better person than we all expected him, we all be taught that he was? I, I'm just asking questions. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Well, maybe Lincoln was the really bad guy in American history and Churchill was the really bad guy in World War II. I, I, I don't know. I'm just asking questions. <sighs> yeah, I mean, this is people are mimicking now Tucker's methodology. He's just asking, just asking questions. As if asking questions is value neutral. As if asking questions when they're really, you know, uh, it's not leading, it's not, it doesn't have implications, it doesn't mean anything, it doesn't present an opinion. Um, when indeed, Um, the question being asked, uh, complete, completely nutty, completely crazy, completely, completely, you, you know, nuts. Anyway.